Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is good to have you. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the new series that I've started, Brands You May Want to Buy or Avoid. And in this particular episode, we are going to look at some cars from a manufacturer named Quartzo. Now, all of these are 143 scale cars. Uh, I'm not sure if they're resin or die cast. It really doesn't matter. They're sealed. None of the parts open. But if you'll notice uh, from the look of the boxes and everything else, this is a rather old brand. And quite frankly, these are old cars that I bought secondhand. All the cars are in mint condition. The boxes are not. But nevertheless, they're very, very interesting. So let's take a look at them. Now, this particular model uh, is a Jaguar D-Type. One of Le Mans in 1995. It is a little bit different from the other cars that you see here in that it is not a, 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 a Group C era car. Uh, but nevertheless, as you can tell, it's made by a company called Vitesse, uh, part of their group. And actually, I think all of these are limited edition models. This was number 4,423 out of 5,000 pieces, which is not unusual and not bad. Uh, guys, these are really nicely detailed cars. Uh, this one, I, I really like this car. It didn't get a whole lot of views and a whole lot of interest in my channel. But nevertheless, I think it's a really cool car looking at that particular era. I was trying to expand my reach beyond the last five years, and this was one of my attempts at it, and I certainly don't uh, regret it at all. Now, the rest of these car guys, these are Porsche 956s. And as you can tell, one common theme with all of them is, you know, if you want Group Sierra cars, particularly the 956 uh, this is one of the few players in town where you can get that without it costing you a same fortune. Now, this exact same new man model that I have here, if you check out, I have another video comparing this to a Spark model that I picked up. And I got to be honest with you, you know, these cars I picked up probably for about 25 bucks a piece. Yes, they are secondhand. They are all used. The boxes are all kind of beat up, uh, as you might expect. But the cars are in excellent condition. And I've got to be honest with you, if you check out my review of this car... It's not quite as good as the Spark, but for half the price, oh, hell yeah. So I guess, I guess the question you're asking is, should I buy Quartzo? And the answer is yes. If you want Group C era cars, you know, Quartzo is certainly a place to go to get those. The price is right. The selection is pretty good. Um, you know, they're, they're old cars, but, uh, but then again, so are the car. They're old cars. So what the hell? But anyhow... I really don't think you regret uh, buying any one of these that, that you get because they're they're all really quite nice models. The presentation is is really good. You know, little plastic bases you got on, uh, they're not exceptional. Comes with acrylic jewel boxes you expect from all 143 scale cars. But guys, the detail on these cars is really good. And yes, I certainly think they are worth it. So if you want one of these cars, uh, you can certainly get it from Quartzo. Now this new man car, everybody makes. There's probably 30 more manufacturers out there that make this exact same car. Now, like I said, I've got the Spark car, which I consider to be among the best of the best of affordable, you know, die cast or, or resin model cars. Uh, and this one, you know, detail wise, is not quite as good, but it's still damn good. So if you want to buy good, affordable, uh, you know, cars of this era and that Jaguar that I showed you, you can't miss with Quartzo. Enjoy. See ya.